In 2018, I was elected to represent the Bronx in the Foot Locker Five Borough Challenge for the New York City Marathon. After running a total of 23 marathons, this was my opportunity to record the event and have a lot of fun. I truly hope you'll enjoy the show. Hi, my name is Un Heidel and I'm a professor and I represent the borough of the Bronx. This will be my 11th New York City Marathon and I'm super excited because I'm representing the Foot Locker Five Borough Challenge. So the Bronx is amazing to me. Um, I, um, uh, the support there, the diversity, um, the nature, the nature really, really gets me. Um, I'm from Norway growing up in nature and this is the type of nature I find in Cortland Park, in um, the Reservoir Park right next door to my apartment. Um, I can just put on my running shoes and go straight out. Uh, there are trails, I mean, literally you can run to Connecticut. So um, it's, it's very special. One of my biggest life challenges have been actually the loss of my sister. Um, it happened, I ran my first New York City Marathon in 1996 and um, uh, she had been extremely supportive. She made my marathon shirt um, and uh, unfortunately three months after the marathon she passed away very uh, um, suddenly um, and um, uh, it just made me more motivated to run and running has become a way that I cope with that loss. Um, so when I get out in the mornings and I do my runs and I have the time to myself, I, you know, her spirit is there in every, you know, every way and every form. And it's kind of this peaceful tranquility and my way of processing this uh, loss, um, which had such an impact on me. And I, uh, uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it, it's such a motivation, and it just. You know, every marathon, I'm like, okay, this is my last one, but no, nope, keeps me going. <laughs> well, good morning. <clears throat> yeah, it's really morning. <laughs> 3.30 a.m. Cheers. A little morning tea here. Earl Grey. Thank you, Tuna. Um, so it's marathon morning. I uh, haven't slept since 2.30, but I still got almost, yeah, about four and a half hours. So not too bad. Um, so we're here, getting ready. The big day. Bronx in the house representing. <laughs> All right, here we are in the Bronx. Yay! So, uh, good morning, James. <laughs> A little crazy, huh? So, I'm catching the 356. Look at these beautiful colors. Huh? This is our borrow. Woohoo! Anyway, it's um, three. Uh, about 3.45, we're catching the 3.56 I am down to uh, Midtown. I guess it's the pressure is on, huh? <laughs> Gotta do good for the Bronx. But um, anyway, it's gonna be a fun race. It's really gonna be fun. So, so Jeff is always late. Jeff, right. yes, but he has his phone this time. <laughs> it's his phone, okay. That's his phone. So, so anyway, we've been here since, what? I've been here since 4.35. I, got it I would I would have been the train with Pam is the lucky one for sending Manhattan. It's really 6 a.m. Yeah, so she uh, she got to sleep in. But Steph we should really get, right? <laughs> Steph is that my way. Steph's gonna drive her out of there. <laughs> so here's the bus, we get VIP service. It's pretty cool, right? I've never been on a heated bus before. Any has a toilet. I've taken that already. So we're gonna have fun today? Are we gonna have fun today? Yeah, yeah. let's see what we're gonna do. You know, Dunkin' Donut hats everywhere. And we all got uh, limited sleep, right? But uh, <laughs> we are for the challenge. Yes. Per favore, fate il check-in delle vostre bolse in tempo per evitare le code e per non arrivare dopo la chiusura del vostro corral. 
It's the VIP tent. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Pamela. Finally, Stephanie made it. Yay. And here we have Jay, Jeff, and we just saw Christine. I don't know where she was. Oh, well. But anyway, this is how the VIPs have it every year. As you can see, not as bad a party line. Indoor heated tent. Already? <laughs> I don't know. I'm very nervous this time. Don't know why, but I guess it's gonna be fine when I get out there. Alright. Woo! Hi man! I like your warm man, that's not good. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> now we welcome from New York Roadrunners, the president of events and race picture. director of the TCS New York City Marathon, starting this event. Like, like, On your mark. Okay. Stephen, grab these guys. Oh my God. Okay. Start spreading the news. Once again, direct your attention to the blue start line. We are about to start the Foot Locker Five Borough Challenge. Yeah! Now, each team member has drawn inspiration from running in order to face significant challenges in his or her lives. They will run the first 13.1 miles of the marathon together, and then they'll race to the finish. The runner with the fastest time will become the Foot Locker Five Borough Challenge champion, and will win Tiffany and Cole Ward as well as the Black Breaking Lights. Inspired by their personal stories of defeating adverse, advers, adversity, excuse me, through running, Foot Locker is proud to introduce its five borough challenge runners. Joining us from Staten Island, let's hear it for Stephanie Frischilla. Representing Brooklyn, it's Stephen Andrews. From Queens, Jeff Munoz. From the Bronx, Un Hiddo. And last but not least, from Manhattan, Pamela Passarello. Good luck, runners. Again, 13.1 miles together and then racing the second half yeah. of the marathon to the finish. Best of luck. Now to start the five, the Foot Locker Five Borough Challenge, please welcome the Bronx's very own, so you know who he's rooting for. He is the New York Roadrunners president of events and race director of the TCS New York City Marathon. Starting the race for the last time before he retires, please welcome Peter Chacha! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are fabulous. I love all our boroughs, all five boroughs. Maybe the Bronx a little more. But that doesn't mean I don't love you all, okay? So thanks for, thanks for coming out here, thanks for being with us. Okay, this is it. All right, we're gonna do a five borough tour. You'll hear the command. It'll be on your mark and the horn. Good luck, everyone. Do I have clearance on the roadway? Lead vehicles are rolling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on your mark. Okay, top of the bridge. You're on. Look at the skyline. Yeah, I just turned it off a tiny bit. Oh, beautiful Manhattan. So we're gonna end up there. Woo! Top of Arizona. Yay! Down the bridge. Down the bridge we go. This is the biggest incline. A little windy. But perfect temperature. Yeah. So we're in Brooklyn. Yes. Are the any spectators? Uh, this is surreal. <laughs> we have the street all to ourselves. And uh, look at this, this 4th Avenue, it's usually packed. 
Jewish area at Port Brooklyn, Bedford Avenue. As you can see, very quiet. <laughs> so, but beautiful. And uh, this is the elite man coming. I hate this bridge. So we'll see what pace they're in. So after this halfway, we don't have to stay together, but it would be nice. <laughs>
Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Holy crap. Oh my god. It's so cool. They're sprinting. They are sprinting. Let's look at the top. Anyway, I'm gonna play some music. It's chill. See you in Manhattan. We have Sparrow Bridge into Manhattan. As you can see, Jeff, Steve, and staff are in front of me. I don't care. I'm having fun. A little stiff. Comes with age. Then again, I'm gonna grab my in the bush. <laughs> so here we go. This should be the roar of Manhattan. wall into the Bronx on the 70 bridge I'm stiff <laughs> yes I haven't stopped yet but hoping for the support in the Bronx Whew. so my hubby maybe Jonas Bronx here we come supporting representing
five miles left. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. from around the world and even if you've had a hard day make it look good for the photo we'll see you next year Steve and enjoy first. it Steve was first the right here yards. and Stephanie yeah. 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 oh Jeff? no Jeff not yet oh my god he was ahead of me congrats oh my god uh, congrats I don't know I didn't even behind behind me. what happened I didn't even see him how do you feel so if you are planning to meet up, you then need to have the features today. Please note that uh, you may not be able to get a signal on your cell phone because of the high quality I'm actually number three, so uh, I don't know what happened to Jeff. The arrangement should be. So I repeat it's the correct family for the union area. I haven't done over four hours in here. God knows, but um, hey, it was worth it. It was a lot of fun. I can't wait to see the video. Look, I got a poncho, yay! 